Mm. Oh, hi. How's it going? Uh, I'm currently eating some Cadbury's chocolate eclairs. Very addictive. G give me a minute. You come here expecting an oblivion video, but you end up getting a mukbang. All right, I suppose we'd better continue with my let's play of oblivion, seeing as a lot of you asked me to. Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Hello. I was expecting you to say something else. All right, that just got awkward. That's slightly creepy. He's been stood there now for about... 13 minutes just staring at the wall. Well, at least he's doing something more interesting than this video. He's watching paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say what an absolutely beautiful day it is today in oblivion, but nope. Oh, God, I have caramel stuck in my teeth. God damn you, chocolate eclairs and your deliciousness. Oh, so the Ninroots don't make any noise in this game. Hello, future me here to say, yes, I did say Ninroot and not Nurnroot. Somehow over the last 12 years, I've always believed it was Ninroot. I think it comes as no surprise that I'm an absolute idiot. I've recovered a sprig of Ninroot. A plant ingredient this unusual must have value. Perhaps I should bring it to an alchemist and find out a little bit more about it. An alchemist can be found in almost every city in Cyrodiil. Okay, so I guess we have our first quest. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to my quests. Let's make this our first mission. So we have to go to Bruma. Okay, that sounds easy enough. Can we just fast travel there? Really? No. No. What? Yeah, you can just fast travel anywhere. That makes a lot of sense. No, we're doing this the old-fashioned way. We're going to steal a horse. Uh, I shouldn't have said that out loud. I mean, stroke a horse. Yes, that's what I'm doing. No writing? Writing. No writing? <laughs> writing. <laughs> oh, it's amazing the technology they have here. They have an ATM like that where you can only see it from one particular angle. It makes stealing people's information a lot more difficult. How the bloody hell are you supposed to read that from down here? Hang on. <laughs> Muravas. Muravas. Peacemakers. P yes. Muravas Peacemakers. Hello. I hear you're a Muravas Peacemaker. That is so weird. I used to have that exact same rug at my old house. Did you steal my rug? That's bizarre. Varel Morvane. Been making weapons and arms here in Anvil for 30 years. People say I do good work, and I don't aim to argue with them. I wanted to sell you something because I ended up picking up quite a lot of crap the other day. Although, I do need to keep this yarn because I am going to create Yarny, the ultimate companion. One thing I'm going to say right now, I'm not liking the fact that it's not showing me a plus or minus symbol next to it to show me if it's better than my current weapon, which I really did like in Skyrim. So we have to keep bouncing back to see what our one's like. So our one has three damage. That makes no sense. I have a fine iron bow that does three damage and he has a standard iron bow, which also does three damage. 5,000 for a truncheon of submission. <laughs> Good. God, you just have every police officer with one of those. You will submit. You will submit. So there's one thing in Oblivion that I never understood. Never. In the span of 12 years I've had this game, I've never understood how to actually do this. Probably time I look up a tutorial, if I'm completely honest, but I'm stubborn. This is the bribing system, and, and it allows you to make them more friendly towards you. I'm guessing you have to have the biggest one left last. So you have to annoy them to make them happy in the end. So I'm going to boast. Don't you know who I am? I'm Tom Cruise 420, bailiff of, where are we? Anvil, Anvil, you, oh, I'm the Best. I doubt it. That's not very nice of you. Next, I'm going to admire him. Your head is so shiny that I can see my future. What nonsense. Exactly. And next, we're going to joke with him. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Hey, Varel, I need a little bit of interaction from you to be able to continue the knock, knock joke. You have to say, who's there? And then I say, doctor. And then you say, Doctor Who, and then we all laugh about it for years. Sure, that's cute. So in the end, Barrel, what do you think? Did I, did I, did I succeed? Whatever you want. That's the bribing system. I didn't even click bribe. <laughs> <laughs> so all of that was.
was for nothing. You know, I'm done. I'm, Are I'm you done. serious? Yes, I am. I'm done. Goodbye. What do you look so happy about? Greetings, High Elf. Yes, that's right. I am a High Elf. And you're not having any. Especially with that smile. I think you're already on it. Here you go. Have a coin, beggar. Thank you, kind lady. <laughs> I don't know if you just heard that, but my cat just sneezed. Bobo! He's so cute. I realise now that I ended up walking into Anvil as opposed to out of Anvil, which is where I actually need to go. Although, this has led us to another Nin route that's for some reason mute. I don't know why this Nin route's mute. I really don't think I'm going the right way, am I? No, it's pointing this way, and that's where we started. <laughs> God damn it. I'm the best at this game! Ooh, another Nin route. I have Nin route for days right now. Nin routes are definitely more easy to bloody come by. I may title this video, Getting Lost in Oblivion. Now most people would probably mean that in the way getting lost is in losing themselves in. But here I am, physically getting lost. You, you okay? You kind of just stood out here in the middle of nowhere not really doing much. What, you, <laughs> you all right? Inneris and Ventius, hunter, woodsman and marksman at your service. So, um... What you up to? Oh, you can teach me about archery. Oh, very nice. Okay, your gold, 340. Train. Yes, I've lost money, but yes. Welcome to Bruma. Oh my God, all of the walking that I did. I did so much walking. My legs are now the size of mountains and I in no way fast traveled. Whew, okay. Okay, maybe I did look. I, I thought we were down here. We weren't. We were all the way down here. <laughs> okay, look. I'm, I'm allowed to fast travel if it would take me literally years to get there. Do I recommend people do that? No. I recommend that you walk everywhere because then you can experience everything. I'm going to say it now. This is terrible house placement. Look at this. Look, that's actually going through this house. So our first quest is right here. Okay. Hello, it's me, Tom Cruise. I'd love to say hello. It's funny how they have a welcome desk here and I feel in no way welcome. Hello, Mages Guild. It's me, Tom Cruise. I'd like you to take a look at my Ninrood. Oh God, no, I, I mean, no, that's not some form of STI. No, look. Just open the door, please. Oh, hello. Are you the welcoming committee? Because you're supposed to be stood over there. I'd like you to take a look at... Oh, no, that, that that's no problem. There's obviously something way more interesting over there for you to just stare at endlessly as opposed to talking to me. <laughs> Feels great. What the hell was that? Good God, are you a witch? Ah. Oh. Burn her! Burn the witch! We're in the Mages Guild. That probably isn't a very good idea. Hello! Hello there! Are you here to join the Mages Guild? God, you're almost as energetic as I am. It's so nice to find someone else that's like me. Yeah! I, I, I'd love to join the Mages Guild after you have a look at my Nin route, if you know what I mean. You seem capable enough. Are you sure you want to join? Probably. Yes. Uh, I, I got to warn you, I, I have... No experience apart from healing myself every five seconds to level myself up. So if you're looking for someone like that, then I'm your person. I, I, I'm the best. So yeah, 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 please. Very good. You are now an associate of the Mages Guild. Please keep in mind that you'll need recommendations from every local guild hall in Cyrodiil before you may enter the Arcane University. Well, that was easy. Do you just let any... Wait, hang on a minute. Every single one? All across Cyrodiil? Well, lucky for you, I have the ability to fast travel. Ha! <laughs> You don't have the... You probably do. You have teleport, don't you? Well, it's been lovely talking to someone that's practically me. I'm going to go and look for someone who can lick my Ninroot. I mean, look at my Ninroot. Good. God, you look creepy. All right. Stop sniffing that. That's probably not very healthy for you. My name is Selina Arania. I'm a Mage's Guild journeyman. Look, you just stay right there in, 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 in eye shot. Hang on. Hello, associate. If you need anything, just let me know. You don't happen to have a voice twin, do you? Someone that sounds absolutely identical to you, literally stood in the next room, because it's very uncanny. I brought you my Nin Root. What was it called again? Something Root? Sorry, I can't remember. 
I'm afraid unusual plants are not my area of expertise. Unusual? They're everywhere. Are you just Sundarian? He's what? a fantastic alchemist in Skingrad who specializes in this sort of thing. Are you kidding me? They're everywhere. And if you look at them, it says Ninroot. Why do I have to travel halfway across the bloody country to find someone who knows the name of something that's practically public knowledge? This will not be the last time you see me, Selena, mainly because I apparently now work here because everyone can just walk in and get a job. But this will not be the last time I will make you pay for having to press the fast travel button. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Her skin grad, okay? And there is Anvil. <laughs> Come on. Here we are at the West Wheeled Inn. Because the bartender of a random inn knows more about Ninroot, which is publicly available, than one of the mage guild workers. Yes, that makes a ton of sense. You get any closer and I'll turn your bones to ash. Back off. Hey, I have no time for your pathetic attempts at small talk. Now, walk away before I get nasty. Pathetic? Don't you know who I am? I'm Henry, bailiff of Biscuit Town. The most famous bailiff of Biscuit. That's who I am in another world. Not this one. Kind of a crossover thing. I, I don't know what's happening. Anyway, yes, so watch it, you. Is anyone down here? I I've travelled all the way from Bruma to show you a... Bloody nin- oh, there you are. Ninroot. A bloody Ninroot. Can you believe them? A Ninroot. Hi. Hello. My little home underground. Is it just me or does everyone sound the same in this town? It's very weird. Well, I've come to show you my Ninroot. Let me just take down my trousers. Just kidding, but the look on your face is priceless. You've brought something for me to examine. Well, you could say that, yeah. This is a genuine Nernroot sample. Very nice quality, in fact. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Since you already know what they look like, do you feel up to a bit of a collecting expedition? I I've already collected three in the space of about three feet, so they're not exactly hard to come by. Why does no one in the entirety of Oblivion know what the bloody hell a Nurn route is? They're everywhere! Oh, I know why. It's because they aren't going... <laughs> every five seconds. That explains it, yeah. Hello, it's me, Future Roxy. I'm here to say that, unfortunately, after this point, my microphone decided to make me sound like this. I never thought in my entire YouTube career that I'd be ranting about Nernroot. It makes me sound like I'm in some kind of time vortex and I've gained like nine million pounds. So to catch everyone up for the next episode, all I did after this was had a small meltdown about Nernroot, which I wish was still in there because it was actually quite funny. And I then left the bar and fell off a bridge. And that was the end of the episode. Oh, and I met a time traveller. I kind of wish that the video hadn't messed up now because there was actually a lot of good stuff. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you do YouTube videos. I hope you enjoyed this anyway because I really am enjoying making these. This is a different kind of Let's Play. It isn't kind of like a set, I am going to do this thing. It's not structured. It's kind of just me going about doing my own thing and exploring and playing the game as it should be played. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, that's me, out, oh, there guys.